Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what is the best roadmap to get into cybersecurity. Later on, I will be making a video talking about the protocols and the ports and things like that that you would need to know to get into cybersecurity. But this video is just a quick overview for you to have an understanding of the things that you need to know or what you should do to get into cybersecurity. First thing first, you need to build a foundation in IT. How are you gonna secure a computer but you don't even know how the computer works? You need to build a foundation in IT. A lot of people try to skip this part. They're like, I wanna be a cybersecurity analyst or I wanna be a hacker and they just try to go straight into hacking and when they get there, they realize they're missing a lot of things. There are a lot of missing pieces. You need to have a great fundamental in IT. You need to know what a CPU is and what it does. What's RAM? What's the difference between RAM and memory? What's the difference between a hard drive and a solid state drive? What, what's the differences between these things? In my opinion, one of the certifications you could take to get you ready and get you that knowledge that you're trying to get in IT fundamentals is the A+, the CompTIA A+. To me, it does a really good job in preparing you for those IT support, help desk, desktop support roles, and those are the roles that are going to give you that standard fundamentals on computers and, and, and information technology and how these devices work in general. The next thing on the list is networking. Don't let nobody make you think that you could skip this part because guess what? Everything around us communicate with networking. Wi-Fi, Ethernet is networking. Everything is networking. There are many certifications that you could take, but we're talking beginner, right? This person never been into IT or networking or cybersecurity, never been into computers, and they're trying to get into this field. The best starting point that I think would be the Network Plus. Network Plus is one of the best starting certifications that you could start with in my opinion when it comes to networking and learning what networking is learning about the tcp ip model osi model learning about what the what if difference between the different ethernet cords and different protocols and ports and all these different things. You could have a solid foundation on networking. Then you can move on to the CCNA and so on and so forth. Another thing that I would say is understand operating systems, Windows, Linux, Mac, and also the different operating systems for phones. You got your Androids, you got your iOS and things of that nature because when you have new users working with you, you're going to have to set them up with a new phone if your company provides phones for them or if your company allows them to set up applications on those phones, you're going to know need to know how to set them up. I would say to get familiar with the different operating systems. If you're trying to learn Linux, you can try for the CompTIA Linux Plus. I personally, I have a book right here. This book is Linux Basics for Hackers, if you could see it. This is a book I had start reading. I haven't finished it yet, but if you don't want to go through a full course, you can go ahead and just get a book and, and teach yourself. Whichever way you could learn, you teach yourself. But this is something I would tell you, I would advise you to get into is learning those operating systems, right? I also would recommend for you to learn a little bit of coding, learn some scripting and the languages that I would say would be Python, PowerShell, Bash, Batch, right? Those are the languages that I would say you want to be nice and familiar with, build that nice foundation. Also, I forgot to show you guys, I have this book right here. It's Network Basics for Hackers. This is another book that you can get. 
all right this is just some of the resources that i get i'm trying to learn in every different aspect this is how you should be you watch videos you read books you do hands-on now finally you got your it fundamentals down pat right now you got your network fundamentals down pat right you got some operating systems down pack so you understand how to work with windows you understand how to work with linux how to work with mac how to work with different phone systems and, and ipads or whatever the case may be you have that down pack you have a little bit of scripting programming down pack you could look at a python language and say oh this looks like python even if you might not know every single thing it's saying you can identify it you see bash script you could identify it you see something in batch you are you can identify it if you see something in powershell you can identify it you could use powershell to do certain things and manipulate certain things on your computer now now you want to move into the cybersecurity aspects now you start to work on cybersecurity fundamentals now those things you did prior are going to fill in those little gaps that you would have been missing if you had just went into straight into cybersecurity. Now you want to learn cybersecurity fundamentals. One of the first things that I would advise you to do is, of course, build a home lab. Now, in one of my videos to come in the future, I will show you how to build a home lab. But one of the things you would want to do is build a home lab get the virtual box on your system get some different operating systems on there set them up right you got the ha you got the stuff in place for your hands-on another thing you want to do is you want to start looking into certifications where you should start is with the google cybersecurity professional certification in my opinion you should start there you should start there. That should be your first cybersecurity course or one of your first cybersecurity courses. Now, the good thing about the Google Cybersecurity Professional course is when you pass it, you get a discount on the Security Plus, right? So you get through this Google Cybersecurity Professional certification, then you move on to the security plus the security plus is an industry standard a lot of jobs they are looking for that so you get that certification right now when you get that certification you could move into trying to figure out do you want to be on the red team or blue team in my opinion i do believe you should get the cysa plus and then after that get the pen test plus or if you want to do it the other way it's up to you just so if you get the pen test and the CYS plus, it just gives you a little understanding of both red and blue team, right? So if you're going to be on the defendant side, you understand what the, the pen testers are doing. If you're going to be on the penetration testing side, you understand what the blue team will be doing. So it'll, it'll sharpen your skills a little bit more, right? But that's what I would tell you to do. You get the Google cybersecurity certification, you move on to the security plus, then you could get the CYSA plus or the pen test plus, and then you move on to bigger and bigger and more advanced certifications. But after you done do all of that, one of the things I want you to know, and I would encourage you to do is make sure you stay doing hands-on. You could do things like, try hack me hack the box after you get your google cybersecurity professional certification on the security plus if i was you i would already be working on try hack me hack the box and perfecting my skills while you're working on those other certifications you could do that and once you do that from there it's just about sharpening up your skills once you hit, once you start, once you get to the CYSA plus, the pen test plus, you're doing hack the box, try hack me and all the other different platforms and you killing it. From there, you just sharpening up your skills. From there, you just sharpening up your skills. From there, you should be able to get a job. You should be able to put your resume together, get a job. Even before 
that by the time you get the security plus, because of all the work you put in before, you should be able to get a job. You should be able to get in somewhere. But that's the road. That's the way to take it. Make sure you build a foundation first before you get into the security and stuff. Because once you start taking the security courses, you don't want to feel like you're missing information, like you don't understand what this and that is. And the, some of the things you might not understand, it is beginner stuff. So you're going to be like, man, well, how am I trying to be a security professional? And I don't even know what these beginner stuff are. Build that foundation in IT, build that foundation in networking, understand the operating systems, also understand the scripting languages and stuff, and then get into that security role and then just perfect it and sharpen it up. I hope this video was able to help you and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.